pattern about the questions and how to solve it. This is again, you can say, now it is a academic part. One of the most, you can say, precious tool, whatever God has given to us or human being, that is imagination. That is imagination. Based on that, how much human can grow, nobody can nobody can understand it nobody can measure it how much human can grow how much human can human brain can grow whatever we are thinking just in our surrounding everything is a human brain product all somebody has created and before creation it is imagined in somewhere brain when thomas alva edison was doing experiment 10000 times experiment he has done to just uh, make the you know uh, this uh, bulb that time First, he has thought in, uh, in his brain, something will be there which will glow and that will create the light, that will give the light. First, it will come in imagination. That same imagination after a certain number of years keep on working, it will come in the form of reality. If just suppose Thomas Alva Edison has not imagined that one, then what would happen? We would not under this light. We would not be under all this development, whatever happened and everything is depending on light. If electricity is not there, everything will be shut down. All our urban culture, modern, whatever development happened last 200 years, all are depending root cause electricity. If electricity is not there, complete civilization will be shut down within few months. The, that electricity, Thomas Alva Edison has imagined and he has done the 10,000 time experiment, then he has innovate the bulb 9999 times he failed agar pehle hi give up kar diya hota to aaj roshni nahi hoti bulb nahi hota kuch bhi nahi hota few people many of the people are sacrifice their life to do something for human society due to we are in comfortable condition then imagination must be there and this is the tool which everybody having and this is very stretchable it is elastic in nature how much you will use that much it will that much it will expand then you must use imagination because especially aptitude based paper or cat or other mba test which is just checking your aptitude level their imagination is having very big role if your imagination level is good you will able to visualize the problem in clear way and that point of time what will happen you will able to apply common sense properly and if you are able to apply common sense proper way, you will able to save the time, you will able to increase your accuracy. That only they are looking. They are not looking you should be academically very good in math or very good in anything. They are not going to ask you any theorem, prove the theorem, this geometry, prove the this formula. They are not going to ask you. They already You already done during your academic, uh, academic time, like bo 10th board or 12th board time. You have done already. No need to again re reproof yourself. But based on the imagination, what you can do that you have to prove next is your evaluate at most fundamental level exhaustively any point of time if you are getting problem in life you just ask how many times golden rule five times why 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 and why this will give you the exhaustive analysis analysis of the problem at most fundamental level Based on that, you will able to understand the root of the problem. And once you understood the root of the problem, you will able to 